The settings screen lets you set billing details, manage your account, and set your notification preferences, among other things. In the Notifications section, you can adjust your preferences. You can choose to receive email or push notifications when Sense identifies a new device, or if the Sense monitor goes offline for some reason. That notification can be a helpful indicator to alert you when the power may have gone out while you're away on vacation. You can also opt in to receive monthly email reports, which help you track your progress and compare your energy statistics to other Sense users. The My Home section provides details about your Sense monitor, such as the serial number and firmware version. And you can also view the real-time power and voltage metering for each leg of your split phase service. This screen is also where you can switch Wi-Fi networks, configure your solar sensors, and reset your monitor if you move or change your installation in some other way. Under My Home, you can also set your electricity cost and billing cycle so that you can view your energy trends in dollars and cents. If you use any integrations, you can set these up to connect to Sense under Connected Devices. Tapping this Data Sources option lets you enable Network Device Identification, which tells your Sense monitor to listen for pings on your Wi-Fi network and use that information to improve device detection capabilities. Tapping back to the main settings screen, we see three more options. General, which for now just includes an option for enabling sounds. Help, which connects you to our community forum, online knowledge base, and lets you contact our support team directly from the app. And finally, About Sense, which is where you can find the version number for the app and links to our terms of service and privacy policy.